Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah of Torah. This year is entitled to one who has a Yeretzite fast in general. And what if the Yeretzite comes out on Tanis? And the Tanis you want to fast is on Nisan or Shodesh or another day that we don't normally fast. This is a fascinating topic. I could be wrong, but I don't know if there's any other practice that's mentioned more in the Shulchan Arach than fasting on a Yeretzite for a father or a mother. That's right. I think about 10 times scattered throughout the Shulchan Aruch. You have the idea of a fast mentioned for your insight. You have an Hechos Tanit, the person has a Tanit, it's the person Hechos Nedarim. The person goes ahead and makes a promise, it's Hechos uh, by Ada, Ada Aleph, Ada Feh, where's the real your insight? Hechos Pesach, Adisa, we don't fast even for a your insight. In your day, it's mentioned a few times, Hechos Avelis, it's unbelievable. What's unbelievable is it might be the Lacha that's mentioned the most in the Shulchan Aruch about the fasting on your site. And it is hardly observed. Post can want to say, we're weak today. We can't focus today. All day long, we're going to look at our watch. We're not going to focus on the tshuva. We're just going to focus on when we're going to eat again. Okay, the post can justify that why we don't do it. But it is unbelievable that the most mentioned halacha or practice, I don't know if I call it a chiyah, but a practice mentioned in the Shulchan Aruch is the one that we just... Most people don't keep, legitimate not, that's just the way it is. So now we go ahead, and a person is serious about this. Someone asked me, I'm serious. I fast for my father on the Yeretz. I, what about now my mom passed away, but it's Nisan. It's a fascinating shayla. The Shulchan Aruch does discuss the idea of making, when, when the fast coincides, the Yeretz coincides with a day that we don't fast, do you do it early or late, and, and do try to keep it up. It is mentioned. However, in this case, the Ramah says, specifically by Nisan, when it comes out, or any day that it comes out of fast, where it's always going to be that way. It falls out of Nisan. Not like one year it falls out where it coincided with an event, with a bris. Then do you push it off or push it early? It's built in. So there, the Ramah Tavkav Samachach does say, that the meaning is for us just not to fast at all. It always coincides with the day that we don't fast, and that's it. So therefore, even that, the person who is careful to fast on the other side of a parent, if another parent uh, passes away in Nisan, or a, a, a date that always is a day that we don't fast on, the meaning generally is not to fast. Of course... On the earth side, we should always do different things, masim tovim, and learn, and, and say kaddish, but specifically referring only to fasting.